Friday the 23rd of June. Our opening piece of music was by Margaret Ritzer, Creator God. Let us pray. God of the ages to whom 1,000 years are like a single day, we thank you for bringing us in safety to this morning. Direct our steps and enlighten our hearts that in all things we may act with your wisdom, your joy and your love. Through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. We come now to our reading, which is from chapter 5 of the book of the prophet Ezra. Now the prophets Haggai and Zechariah prophesied to the Jews who were in Jerusalem and Judah in the name of the God of Israel who was over them. Then Zerubbabel and Jeshua set out to rebuild the house of God in Jerusalem, and with them were the prophets of God helping them. At the same time, Tatanai, the governor of the province beyond the river, and Shethar Bonzanai and their associates came to them and spoke to them thus. Who gave you a decree to build this house and to finish this structure? They also asked them this, What are the names of the men who are building this building? But the eye of their God was upon the elders of the Jews, and they did not stop them until a report reached Darius, and then answer was returned by letter in a reply to it. The copy of the letter to Tetanai, the governor of the province beyond the river, and Shethar Bonzanai and his associates, the envoys who were in the province beyond the river, sent to the king Darius. They sent him a report in which was written the following. To Darius the king, all peace. May it be known to the king that we went to the province of Judah, to the house of the great God. It is being built of hewn stone and timber is laid in the walls. This work is being done diligently and prospers in their hands. And we spoke to those elders and asked them, who gave you a decree to build this house and to finish this structure? We also asked them their names for your information so that we might write down the names of the men at their head. This was their reply to us. We are the servants of the God of heaven and earth, and we are rebuilding the house that was built many years ago, which a great king of Israel built and finished. But because our ancestors had angered the God of heaven, he gave them into the hand of King Nebuchadnezzar of Babylon, the Chaldean who destroyed this house and carried away the people to Babylonia. However, King Cyrus of Babylon, in the first year of his reign, made a decree that this house of God should be rebuilt. Moreover, the gold and silver vessels of the house of God, which Nebuchadnezzar had taken out of the temple in Jerusalem and had brought into the temple of Babylon, these King Cyrus took out of the temple of Babylon and they were delivered to a man named Sheshbazar, whom he had made governor. He said to him, take these vessels, Go and put them in the temple in Jerusalem, and let the house of God be rebuilt on its site. Then this Sheshbazar came and laid the foundations of the house of God in Jerusalem, and from that time until now it has been under construction, and it is not yet finished. And now, if it seems good to the king, have a search made in the royal archives there in Babylon, 
to see whether a decree was issued by King Cyrus for the rebuilding of this house of God in Jerusalem. Let the king send us his pleasure in this matter. Thanks be to God. And now today's reflection. We do not value the gift of administration and good record keeping as we should. I remember someone commenting on reading a tribute paid to a retiring bishop. If it says he was a good administrator, you know they were struggling for something else to say. Yet this part of Ezra shows the importance and value of written reports and record keeping. Inspired by Haggai and Zechariah, work has restarted on rebuilding the temple after a gap of 20 years. Tatanai, the governor, is told they were given permission by Cyrus and requests the new king Darius to check the records of his predecessor, Cyrus, to see if this story stacks up. The next chapter tells how a diligent search of the archives reveals a written decree and so work on the temple is allowed to continue with the royal seal of approval and at public expense. The Israelites had cause to be thankful for Persian efficiency. Interestingly, St Paul lists administration as one of the gifts of the Holy Spirit alongside healing, helping and speaking in tongues. Some people hate filing papers or reports as much as the next person and so today's reading is a challenge to us all to see administration and good record keeping as a gift from God that can be a blessing to others, not least our successors. Amen. And now let us pray. We pray today for the North Downs Deanery. We pray for the people there. We pray for the people in the Diocese of Torrit, in the province of the Episcopal Church of South Sudan. And we pray too for all those who look after the administration of our churches. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. As our Saviour Christ has taught us, so we pray. Our Father, who, who art in heaven, heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy, thy kingdom, kingdom come, thy, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, the power and the glory, for ever and ever. Amen. Lord, we thank you for the gift of this new day. We pray that you would bless us in all our actions, our words and our thoughts, and that we would make the hours that lie ahead an offering in your service. Amen. God bless the sky that is above us, the earth that is beneath us, your image deep within us, the day that lies before us. Amen. Yeah. Mm -hmm.